Why are you not a Christian? Because I see no evidence whatever for any of the Christian dogmas. I've examined all the stock arguments in favor of the existence of God, and none of them seem to me to be logically valid. Do you think there's a practical reason for having um, a religious belief for, for many people? Well, there can't be a practical reason for believing what isn't true. Uh, that's quite, uh, at least I rule it out as impossible. Either the thing is true or it isn't. If it is true, you should believe it, and if it isn't, you shouldn't. And uh, if you can't find out whether it's true or whether it isn't, you should suspend judgment. But you can't, uh, it seems to me, a fundamental uh, dishonesty and a fundamental treachery to intellectual integrity to hold a belief because you think it's useful and not because you think it's true. Well, I was thinking of those people who find that um, some kind of religious code helps them to live their lives. It gives them a very strict set of rules, the rights and the wrongs. Yes, but you know, those rules are generally quite mistaken. Uh, a great many of them do more harm than good. And uh, it would, uh, they would probably be able to find a rational morality that they could live by if they dropped this uh, irrational, traditional, taboo morality that comes down from savage ages. But are we, uh, perhaps, the ordinary person, perhaps isn't strong enough to find this own personal ethic? They have to have something imposed upon them from outside. Oh, I don't think that's true. And what is imposed on you from outside is of no value, whatever. It doesn't count. Well, you were brought up, of course, as a Christian. When did you first decide that you did not want to remain a believer in the Christian ethic? I never decided that I didn't want to remain a believer. I decided between the ages of 15 and 18, I spent almost all my spare time thinking about Christian dogmas and uh, trying to find out whether there was any reason to believe them. And by the time I was 18, I discarded the last of them. Do you think that that gave you an extra strength in your life? Oh, I don't know. No, I shouldn't have said so. Neither, neither extra strength nor the opposite. I mean, I was just uh, engaged in the pursuit of knowledge. As you um, approach the uh, end of life, do you have any fear of some kind of afterlife, or do you feel that that is just an no, impossibility? No, no, I think that's nonsense. There is no afterlife? None, whatever. Do you have any fear of something that uh, is common amongst atheists and agnostics, who have been atheists or agnostics all their lives, who are converted just before they die to a form of, of religion? Well, you know, it doesn't happen nearly as often as religious people think it does. Because religious people, most of them, think that it's a virtuous act to tell lies about the deathbeds of agnostics and such. Uh, as a matter of fact, it doesn't happen very often. 